people in Little League saying, man, that guy's got a funky arm action. So um, just natural, you know. So um, obviously the effectiveness plays plays without the, the velocity, obviously. So um, that was never a worry for me. I know throwing hard something you can always develop and work hard at and everyone wants it. So it's obviously something I want as well. But uh, I think just just from proving how the velocity doesn't need to be there for how effective the fastball plays is something that I've always always um, had confidence in and the consistency of it throughout this season was um, next level compared to last season as well so I'm um, just planning on keep doing that and staying consistent with it. Congratulations Cooper. Um, just wanted to know what uh, what what your uh, progress has been like you weren't drafted out of high school uh, two years in college can you just talk about where you've improved the most and, and you know where, where, where have you made the most gains? Yeah, I think that the biggest improvement I made this year compared to last year is definitely the, the development of the off-speed pitches, the changeup in the slider. And uh, obviously my sophomore year, I was still trying to throw that um, that curveball and get depth on a pitch and obviously invested in myself and went to driveline this last offseason and went through a pitch design and stuff. And I think that's what really helped me as well was just understanding how my body moved and what pitches would work best for me. And um, obviously started throwing a more sweep, sweeper slider instead of the curveball and that paid off and it was really more consistent and I had way more confidence in it. And uh, I'd say that the change up in the slider have equal amount of confidence in, in my abilities to, to land them for a strike and then put away pitches as well. So I'd say the, the biggest improvement was definitely the off-speed pitches this year. When you see the comparisons to Chris Sale, is that something you just try to be your own guy or is that guy, a guy you model your game after? Yeah, no, I mean, maybe mentality wise, but I've always just tried to stick to my strengths and work on myself. And so um, obviously I've seen the comparisons and it's very similar, but I've never, you know, tried to physically adapt to trying to throw like him. So you touched on it that even back in Little League, guys would say that you were a little funky. Did, did anybody try to change your delivery all these years? Did anybody say, hey, you got you to gotta fix this, look at it a different way? Uh, not really, for the most part, just because it was so effective. And I think no one really wanted to change it just because of how unique it is, is my guess. So, um, yeah, I never really had a pitching coach try to change, like, my arm action or my arm slot or how I'm throwing a, a pitch. So, it's just been natural ever since I started playing, and no one's really messed with it. So, The, uh, the way the Cardinals described it was they kind of have a sense that you could move quickly. Um, that might mm -hmm. be as a reliever to, to start. Um, I wonder mm -hmm. just your thoughts on – on that I mean, 20 second pick overall obviously high hopes but to hear that they think you could move swiftly in this direction of the majors what's that mean to you it's awesome i mean i have full belief in myself to do that as well and i think that honestly if you need me in any spot i'm ready for it and that's that's a key thing with me is that i just want to go out there and play whether it's starting or leaving i just want the ball so and the last thing i want to ask are you are you at all familiar with kind of the cardinals and or even like maybe their draft history and some of the things they've done with college pitchers? Not really, to be completely honest. Since I'm on the West Coast, I've always grown up being like a Giants and a fan of following those guys. So um, to be completely honest, not really, but I'm, I'm looking forward to obviously gaining more information on them. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Cooper. Congrats. Appreciate it. Jeff Jones, Belleville News Democrat. Hey, Cooper. Congratulations. Uh, one of the things that we spoke to Randy Flores about was the, the way they were impressed with how you were able to tunnel so much of your stuff. Can you talk about the work that you did at driveline this past off season? Was that a big part of that for you? Like in, in making sure that I don't even, you have that unusual arm slot that it also stays consistent and, and, and adds maybe that level of deception that guys need at the next level. Yeah. Like an example of when I went to driveline was when I had that curveball and it was obviously not tunneling as well as a slider would from my arm slot and how I was throwing it. So the curveball is popping out and I started throwing that slider. And like you said, that tunneling um, kind of direction for it was way better and way more consistent, obviously. And it was right from the get go. So um, just stuck with that. And it's been paying off. So I'm actually also, I'm from Vacaville. So I'm familiar with the high school success stories and, and all of that. So I was wondering when you were pitching in the midst of that season for Woodland, did it ever occur to you with all your accomplishments that this was going to be where you're going to end up as a top 30 overall pick? Uh, definitely not out of high school. I mean, I knew I was going to a good program like Oregon State and uh, really wanted to develop as a whole and uh, mature. And I think that coming out of high school, I was like 175 pounds and um, very young. And so I thought I could use some development through a program like Oregon State. And um, 
obviously the, the, the amount of uh, progress I've made is, is huge. And ever since, you know, last year, I always knew I had a chance to go, go early and uh, it did. So I'm really grateful for it. We've talked about the strides that you made in those two years with Oregon State, but we don't really know much about who you are as a person. So what is your personality like and how do you approach competing every, every day? I'm a fun guy, man. I mean, except for when I'm pitching on the days I pitch, it's a completely different person, like a split personality. And it's just that compete mode. And so um, obviously on the days that I pitch, it's something that's way different compared to when I'm not. And just when I'm not, I'm just there to have fun and talk with some guys and pick their brain on how they go about their business and stuff like that. So rumor has it that you're a sneaky, good comedian. Would you agree with that? Uh, here and there. Yeah. When I want to, not all the time, no. And then last question, what actual city in California are you in right now? I am currently in Cape Hay, California. So I went to high school in Woodland, which is about 25 minutes away, which is about 15 minutes west of Sacramento. Perfect. Thank you. Randy Carricker, ESPN Radio. Hey, Cooper. Welcome to St. Louis. A couple of things. Number one. Uh, what have you been doing since the end of your college season? What sort of baseball activities have you been involved with? So I talked to my agent, Chase Brewer. Um, throwing wise, I shut down for about two and a half, three weeks, just because this is the most innings I've thrown for my whole entire life by about 30 innings. And so um, the throwing part, I just threw twice this week. I went Monday, Wednesday, and then uh, obviously still continuing to lift four days a week, two upper half, two lower half days. And so um, just trying to stay moving around and keep that mobility there and all that stuff needed to um, keep competing. And so if, uh, if you sign quickly, you can start pitching quickly, right? I would, I feel great right now. Yeah. So You're good. So, and sure. then my other thing is um, John brought up the, the comps to sale. What major league pitchers do you enjoy watching? I, th the, the main two are DeGrom and Scherzer, just because of Scherzer's mentality. When he goes out there, he's almost like a psychopath. He's showing it and I love it. And so um, obviously love watching him going out there and compete. And then DeGrom's just an animal. Uh, very dominant. His stuff just blows hitters away and it's just fun to watch.